today I'm going to share with you a beer from Ship Bottom Brewery. They are out of Beach Haven, New Jersey. It's going to be a look at the NYD Imperial Stout. This is the 2022 edition, so this is one I pulled from the cellar. It comes in at a 10% ABV. Let's go ahead and crack it open and get it into a glass. I'm actually shooting this on New Year's Eve of 2023. So, Now, this beer actually came out to be a little heady little kind of the key word in that sentence as you can see didn't pour overly heavy on it but i did let it sit out for about 25 minutes or so after taking it from the cooler so uh, i'm going to let this settle for a bit and then get back into it here in a second once it actually comes down so looking at the beer right now it is starting to settle a little bit better in place still has a good amount of head there but enough that i can actually start to get into it it's got a deep dark chocolatey feel to the beer so i am picking that up here on the nose definitely that baker's type chocolate on the aroma seems to have a little bit of a richness there on the nose as well but for an imperial stout you get a little bit of that roasted coffee type feel in there as well taste wise it's got a nice underbody that has a fudge type feel in the body itself kind of that fudge caramelly type note big coffee bitterness that comes into play got some sweetness in there as well a little bit of a richness that bitter note is definitely pretty strong decent amount of carbonation get a nice prickly sensation there on the tongue it's got an after effect or an aftertaste in the mouth of the chocolate bitterness as well. As it comes out more on the nose, has a little bit more of a, almost a little bit more of a dark fruit type feel. I'm trying to think in my mind what I'm thinking of. Almost kind of a figish, fig type feel. And a little bit of a caramel note as the head goes down. Speaking of that, check out that lacing. So nice lacing there on the glass as well. Nothing mind blowing about it, but still put together very nicely in that regard. I have no complaints about it. I think it actually uh, is pretty uh, solid as an Imperial Stout offering. So for me, untapped wise, I'm gonna give this one a 375 out of five. I think it's decent enough. I think it's on par with a lot of the Imperial Stouts that are out there. I think it's uh, good enough to uh, definitely, well, you can't get this one, but the 2023 is out as well. But um, a nice little uh, Imperial Stout there from Ship Bottom Brewery. I may have to check out more of their stuff when I'm back up in Jersey. Thanks for checking out this video, and I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Cheers, everybody.